Yep. All right. Okay. So the first thing that I like to do is make sure I've got a pistol grip here, fingertip, get my pistol grip so I've got a universal grip that goes across the body. Then when I take my grip on the elbow, you can grip here like this and use your elbow to break it. If they're really strong, you can use your knee to break. Excuse me, buddy. He's always in the video. All right. I'm here like this. I like to cut the elbow if I can so that if I need to turn it over and push it, I can. Also, it's the next grip that my right hand takes that's really important. Yeah, all right. So I pull it across here like this, and then I slide my right hand up so it's almost on his back, and that gives me super good control of his back from there like that. Yeah. So one because here I just have his arm; he can still posture. So once I break this grip and get it across here, I like to move my hand up deeper here like this, right up near the lat, and that gives me good control of his back like this, and he feels it straight away. Now I'm turning this hand making sure his hand is not on top, I want to make sure my hand's on top, like this, straighten my leg, turn my hips, then I pull him across my hips and get my three quarter back now, like that. The next move, I keep my left hand nice and straight, excuse the dog, he's always involved, right hand goes to the armpit, here like this, All right, so it moves around a little bit, there like this, I keep my left arm straight, he's pretty much stuck here, All right, so, now, from here, I've got a couple of options. My main option is for my right hand to come in and start looking for his collar. So, I like to let, let go of this grip sometimes and hook the arm here, because that helps keep him down. My right hand can sneak in. I'm just after the bottom lapel, so lift up a little bit so you can see. Just the bottom lapel, and then I can do my emergency choke, which is my arm very deep here, and I focus on pushing my elbow forwards. If I focus on the traditional way of chopping like that, I'm making more space behind his head and he could put his head on the floor and start turning over to face the roof and start undoing the choke, yeah? So it's important when I do it that I take my grip first here and then push my elbow under him. So put your head on the floor, don't turn your whole body, put the back of your head around. It's, it can't, because my, see, my arm stays behind it the whole time instead of doing it like this, which is traditional way, yeah? Right? If I was really traditional, I would have both lapels here like that. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not that far enough around to have the back to be able to do it. I'm usually attacking the three quarter back now, right? So on your knees, he's usually still on his knees at this point when I'm doing most of this, here like that, right? So I chase after the choke. Now, the second most common thing that happens is as my hand's going in, he's gonna use this hand to do that, to keep it away because Traditionally, when we're attacking from the back, we're using the opposite arm to defend. So when I do that, what I'm after is this palm. Once I have the palm, I can bring it around the head, two hands on the palm, knee between, and just slide my arm up my thigh to there. Sometimes they'll flip it over and you'll have to do an arm bar like that, but I don't really want to do that. All right, so I'm in here like this. I'm looking, he feels that. He pulls my hand out of there and gives me this arm, right? So I get two hands on this, knee between, and then slide his arm, keep it very bent, slide your arm up your thigh. You like that, right? So that's most of my attacks. If while I'm in here, if my arm goes over here and he starts popping his head out through my armpit, then it's arm, arm bar time on the bottom arm. Hand comes through, already there. It's the bottom arm I'm after. Like that. Yeah, it's very common that they don't see that coming because anytime I'm around here, chasing his neck and that arm, wait, if this arm, relax, if this arm goes there at all, yeah, like that, if it falls like this and I don't for whatever reason want to do this, then I put my left arm over it, there. Once my left arm's over it, if he starts posturing from there, he, the whole time he's giving me the arm bar. There, and you've got that one, of course. But that bottom one is the one you're after, but not by grabbing it with your hands, by using your elbow to do it. That's what hides it. So anytime, anytime I'm here like this and I pull the arm across, I can do it right now. Boom, I got it there. Grab under this armpit. I've got it set up now, right? 
So I'm holding him down. He's worried about getting swept. He's worried about me going to the back. This arm is not coming out because my knee's behind the shoulder. I just use my elbow to hold his head there. Leg over, lift your hips. Got the arm back. Right. Amongst all that, you've got the basic sweep or flower sweep here. So you've got lots and lots of options here. Just from getting the arm across the body and hitting the three quarter back now. Go get it.